and jump right into the video. I'm going to show you guys what I use and everything. So this is what I use for the party. I use the Shine and Jam for the parts. I use the Even Edge Control for the edges and as well as some Atipi Glue Gel, okay? Just to make sure the edges are kind of firm and stay in place for some days, okay? So um, it took me a total about six hours to do my hair, an hour and a half to part in about four and a half, five hours to install blocks. This color is a combination color of color number 27 and color number 613. It starts off honey blonde, but then it goes into like the 613 color, like a platinum blonde. This is water wave textured hair, but the link to the hair will be in the description box below. I have 45 locks in my head. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do my edges as well as how to do this, okay? How you install the lock is you're going to literally Box spray your hair through. Part your hair, box spread it. Once you've done parted it and box spread it, part and box spread it the way you want to. Then you're gonna open the crochet hook. Grab an end of your hair and literally crochet it through, okay? If your hair is longer than bob length, okay? So that is how it's gonna look. I crocheted it through. That is how it looks, okay? Now you're going to get a fluffed out piece of lock, okay? Here's a fluffed out piece. This is how it comes. This is the fluffed out piece, okay? You're gonna literally get the crochet hook, open it, crochet it on. Crochet this hair on, okay? So now it is crow shade on i'm just like all the hair back so you guys can see what i'm doing okay so now that it's crocheted on you're gonna make it folded in half basically okay oh so you're gonna do this method for all your locks no matter where it's at okay so you crochet one piece okay i'm left-handed so i do everything like coming from the left hand side so you're gonna grab one side of the free tress hair and your hair on one hand okay so I got it on one hand. After you do that, you're gonna start wrapping. You're gonna secure the root. I'm securing the root. With the edge pieces, you may have to wrap a couple more times. But usually it only takes me about three to four times to secure the root, okay? So now that I've secured the root, lot, you know, you see people do the thumb method. I tried doing the thumb, the thumb method on my own. I do it with my clients, but for some reason, it's super hard to do it on your own, okay? So don't worry about making this first piece like messy or anything like that, okay? So I literally just, just make sure the, the piece is fluffed out and just wrap your hair. Wrap to hide your hair. That's what you should just worry about. Wrap to hide your hair, okay? Just keep on wrapping. Okay? If you see your hair still, then what you would just do is you would slide this up, okay? Just to make sure that it's pretty tight. This is just a strand you're going to use to hide your hair, okay? So at this point, your hair is basically gone. You see my hair right here. I'm going to slide up just to hide my hair, okay? You may still see a little bit, but that's okay. That is okay because all of that is going to hit. All of that is going to be hidden, okay? All of it, okay? So now that you're done... Everything is done. I done ran out of, this is the leftover hair right now. You're going to leave a little piece left. Grab it in your hand. Okay. This is now when you're going to add the second piece. Make sure this piece is fluffed out. Okay. Fluff it out. Grab that. Make sure that it, now, so for, for the first piece, you want it to be folded in half. For the second piece, since you're basically almost done with wrapping, you're not going to fold it in half. You're going to 
you're going to make sure that your dominant hand, the one that you're wrapping with, so this is the hand I'm wrapping with, so it's gonna have more on this side, on the left side, okay? It's my left side, but y'all right side. The, the part that I'm just holding the hair, that is the part where I'm going to have the little piece. So this is how I'm going to hold it, okay? So just hold that little piece. And everything is combining on this hand now, everything. Now I'm left with that new wrapping piece, okay? So I'm just going to start. Now this is the ending right here. You see, I didn't start the ending. I'm starting right here. I'm starting right here and not on the ends, okay? I got really skinny at that point, so I'm not really interested. So that part where you see my little hair at, that's where I'm going to start. So midway. Midway is where I'm going to start. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on wrapping, guys. At this point, I'm just flipping it because it's easier to just flip and go. Okay. So, this looks like about the place where I want to stop. I like to compare it to another piece that I did similar so they won't be so like uneven i like the little blunt look honestly so i just like to compare it with a piece that matches up with it which is that one all right that's close enough so now i'm going to start wrapping back up okay so i'm wrapping back up Make sure you still keep your lock secure in your hand. Don't just let it go. So wrap back up till you run out. I have strands left now, but I'm still wrapping. Okay, that's basically done. I palm roll it, okay? So now I'm left with this piece. It's skinny, this don't look butterfly, bohemian. Looks terrible, right? Okay. So now with this leftover hair, I'm going to fold it up right there, fold it up, pinch it. Once you fold it up, you're going to pinch it and then you're going to wrap a couple of times in that spot where I pinched at, just to secure that knot, just to secure that knot on the end. And then I'm just going to wrap this. Wrap this back up. Um, then I'm gonna wrap it back down. Then I'm gonna wrap it back down. Okay. All right. I ran out. Palm roll it. Okay. It's still, uh, it still look a little wonky, right? We're not done. Okay. So you're gonna grab a new strand. Fluff that piece out. Everything is going to get fluffed out. Everything. Okay? So this is now fluffed out, okay? I'm going to snip it in half. Okay? So now it's snipped in half, okay? So now I'm just going to start making it, like, more distressed. So I'm going to start close to the root, but not necessarily on the root. I'm going to have... I want to have some frizz in my lock, right? So this, I'm going to have this little piece again where it's had most majority of the hair. It's on the left side again. The less hair is on the right side where I'm going to hold like that, okay? So where I have this frizz and then I have this piece I'm going to wrap. So this time you're going to start wrapping loose. You're not going to wrap tight anymore, okay? You're going to wrap loose, okay? I'm wrapping loose. Guys, I'm wrapping loose. You're wrapping loose, then you got then you're getting some frizz. Okay. Okay, you're getting some frizz, you're getting some curls, or whatnot. So you're still gonna want to secure the end. 
Now this time I'm gonna use a nail glue, okay? Dollar nail glue, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna secure that, okay? Palm roll it, okay? So now it's starting to look, you know, look pretty good, but we're not done yet because we still have this little skinny piece to go, okay? And that's where this other, other part of the what a wave hair come into effect. So I'm literally just gonna stop where I, where I ended, start where I ended, and just continue this lock and wrap loose. Wrap it a couple times in that spot and then just start wrapping. Okay. If it get tangled, that's actually perfect. So you're going to want all of the fringe that you can get. Alrighty. Okay. When it gets down to the end, just kind of start wrapping the end tight. Boom. Okay. That is how it basically looks. Now you have this little piece, a little fuzzy piece, and you're just going to wrap that towards the end. Secure it with nail glue. Okay. That's it, y'all. Look. Look at that. Distress, bohemian, whatnot. If you have little, you know, like little cut off pieces of hair like I have right now, you can just even add that to make it look more distressed. There are no rules to this, guys. There are no rules to this. Like, I got a little piece right there. I'm just gonna like go tightly because it's a real tiny piece. You're gonna make this like more, it's gonna make it more bubble, like bubble out. See? I wrap and then I pull and it just makes it bubble real heavy. I'm just gonna just wrap that. And that's it. So easy. Okay? Especially if you're doing your own. Like, that. Was, that's such an easy way because the thumb method works, but it's super hard to do it yourself. And I'm just putting shine and jam because I've had these in for about a week. And I don't put anything on my hair at night. Or when I in, I'm in the shower, so they got, you know, my hair is getting a little frizzy. So, yeah. So, you can make this as distressed or what not distressed as you want, okay? And the ends are, like, pretty blunt. So, I'm just going to use the even edge control. This edge control. I'm going to use this edge control for my edges. And after I do that, I just put a little bit of um, the got to be glue on top. The got to be glue black bottle. You put that on top. Put that on top. Then you good to go, y'all. And that's it y'all all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was informative so 
Sorry about the quality. I'm filming on my phone because it's a lot easier and quicker to get content to you guys. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this informative. If you guys recreate this style, make sure you tag me on my Instagram at, Lond at the London Tay. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. All the hair details and everything that I use in this video will be in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. And I will talk to y'all in, in my next video. Bye, guys.